Hey guys, I want to share with you some tools that have really improved my life and improved my woodworking and they're very affordable, no more than 50 bucks. So one thing is the fast cap measuring tape. This measuring tape, I love it because it has the measurements on every single line and it has a, where is it? It has a pencil sharpener. So you can quickly sharpen your pencil and easily get your measurements. This is from Auto Tool Home. It's used to drill straight holes. Um, this has come in very handy when I wanted to install floating shelves in my home. And this will clamp on your piece. Then you can go ahead and get your drill and it'll be able to drill straight. So this is really good for floating shelves and if you don't have a drill press, uh, this is something that you could use. This, this is great. This is a push block for your table saw. This part will adjust from left to right depending on the width of your piece. Oh my God. See, it will lock in like that and then you adjust the side of this to the height of your piece. Then you can safely move it through your blade on your table saw. Before I would just use this, I used a sacrificial block to push my piece through when I was cutting thin strips on the table saw. This broke off a lot and then if I had a piece that was thinner than I couldn't use it anymore, I would have to make a new one. Eventually I got tired of that and bought this and this was completely worth it. Everyone has the yellow one. Um, I forget the brand, but I'll show the picture. Everyone has the yellow one. I think that one, that one costs 60 to $70. This one was cheaper and it's the same thing. So this one is from Fumas. I got it on Amazon, affordable, worth every penny. two different styles. This is a 90 degree angle clamp and this is also that. This is just a different style. So right, it's a corner clamp. You can have a meat. You can have a meat in a corner. You screw it there, say you're making a shelf. It's very handy. It's an extra set of hands that you wish you had. I've seen these under 20 bucks, so it just depends how many you get. If you get four, it's gonna be more. I bought a, I got a set of two of these. I really like these. Uh, with this one, I used these when I was making my raised beds. This was a set of two that I got. This isn't from a specific brand, but if you just look up 90 degree corner clamps, you'll see these. Another thing I highly recommend, um, you don't have to buy it, you might just have it laying around as scrap wood in your shop, is a straight edge. If you have a level, this works great. You can use this as a fence for your skill saw when you want to cut straight. Or if you have a board that's already straight, a straight edge around, you can use that too. Oh, wait. This is a straight cutting guide. This one's a 98 inches long, it's from Empire. I picked this up from Home Depot. So this adjusts your length up to 98 inches and it came with two small clamps. So, so those clamps, you would clamp them to your table on the opposite side of where you run your skill saw. What else? Something else that has been very useful when I'm at the table saw <clears throat> is to get a full respirator mask. I used to only use eye protection, but my eye protection was like a generic kind. It wasn't made for woodworking. So I still got a lot of debris in my eyes and my nose when I was breathing because it would come back towards me. 
I don't have a great vacuum system at home. Um, it doesn't even fit quite right on my table saw. I, have to, I haven't bought the correct adapter for it yet. So this was a great solution. Another plane. I can wear it for an hour com comfortably um, before I get too hot. <laughs> Using a full respirator mask has really made my time at the table saw faster and more comfortable. A tool accessory I recommend are countersink drill bits. Um, I skipped out on buying these for about a year. Bruh. I thought I didn't need them. But after I've used them on my latest project and to see how clean the holes are and just the look of it after, it's so worth it. I got this three piece set around $23. They're affordable and it really elevates the look. Shh, shh. My dog has the frisbee. Please buy. Buy countersink drill bits, they are completely worth it. I almost forgot to mention these right angle drill bits. This, ugh, I love it so much. This came in really handy when I was in a tight spot. I don't know why I did that. This comes in very handy when you're working in a narrow spot. Recently, I made planters that were only a foot wide. So getting in there with my drill alone was not possible. Um, I looked into buying a palm, what is it, like a palm drill? They're very cool. Eventually I want to get it, but I just couldn't um, afford to spend that much money right now. But this is a great solution. Just to show you, you can put this on your impact drill and that way you can get into a small area, no problem. I love this, it's like 20 bucks. Very affordable and this is very sturdy. This is from Dewalt. This saves lives. Right angle bit. So that concludes the video on eight tools that you can buy for under 50 bucks to improve your woodworking. If you were to buy all of this at once, it would cost you as low as 200 bucks. And on the higher end, it would cost $300. Just depends on the brand and the quantity of things that you buy. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below tools that you use that are under $50. See ya.